Hello there and welcome back to WWE 2K 2023 GM mode. What up? What up? Um, <laughs> off screen there's been a few technical difficulties. We've been swearing at the internet a little bit. Good um, old internet. So reliable. Lost, yeah, we lost a little bit of footage with us booking this week. But in a nutshell, this is what we've got. Um, off screen, we were royally shafted by Kurt Angle, who decided to double the price of our power cards and also veto one of our random superstars who just so happened to be Batista, our world champion. Which is why you'll see him sitting out to the side in a corner. Yes, <laughs> hence why he's not on the card. Uh, yeah. We had a bit of a nightmare booking this show because we ran out of people. Uh, yes. That was Mick Foley's doing. <laughs> That was Mick Foley's doing. Him and Alba Fire with a baseball bat. Yep. Um, Wiping out two of our... I think we lost what, AJ and the other half of the women's tag team champions. Raquel Rodriguez, yes. That's the one. So we lost so, our giant champions. Yeah. So we didn't have enough men to go around, so we couldn't really book a men's tag team match either. Hence why Gunter and Solo Sokoa are just calling people out in the promos. Yeah. Now... We're hoping that the IC title match will prop up the men's division a little bit, but Charlotte's going to have to hold down the main event. She's helming the ship, as it were. <laughs> she's really helming the ship. She's a wrecking machine. I think uh, it's a good match, though. A submission match. It should be... That should be a good one. We'll have to see if Cain can finally their get the big one. As well. Yes. So uh, I think we'll fire into it. We decided we're going to watch this week with it being a pay-per-view and our mid-card being so scattered. We're going to give Doudrop and Lita some love. Yeah. As we haven't watched any of their matches yet. So, uh... what's going to happen here? Booker T. In a classic, Regains in a classic match against Bron Breaker. So, that was a short-lived title reign by Bron. But the rivalry continues. He can go back for it again. (laughs) He can go. They're not done, those two. Meanwhile, with Eosky and Indy Hartwell... Yo, Sky picks up a win in a mediocre match. They just don't have like, chemistry. I feel like we need to try and stop trying to make Eo Sky and Indy Hartwell a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally all we had with the people that we had that weren't injured. Yeah. Right. Do drop an Alita. Let's do it. Let's see nice what they can do uh, in an Extreme Rules match. Yeah. Nice little boost to the rivalry for AJ and um, Sokoa. Yes. Well, what we also did off screen, we are kind of upgraded our facilities a little bit. Yes, we're no longer in the, uh, the local the bingo high school gymnasium. And the high school gyms. <laughs> we are in an arena. We spent a, a pretty penny to get it. Yep. But I think it. Would, I think it would be worth it. We should earn some money off of this pay per view. Yeah. Now, is yeah. it just me, or does this character model look like she's been stung by a million wasps? Yeah, I see, I see the wasps. <laughs> <laughs> She's a, uh, yeah. She's a giant woman. One half of the giant tag team champions. One half of the giant women. Giant women. <laughs> uh, I'm quite, well, I, the... I am quite impressed that our, uh, our pay-per-view is a very woman-heavy pay-per-view, actually. You know, they've got to get some loving. Yeah. They're a much bigger part of the uh, the business than they were when I was watching it growing up. <laughs> Speaking of watching it when you're growing up, Lita, she's still going, bless her. Here she comes. Those dance moves don't look very uh, enthusiastic. No. And that is an incredibly strong jaw on that character model. <laughs> It is for all the women. They've all got really strong jaws. <laughs> is that Lita or David Coulthard? <laughs> oh. I love that her entrance video is mostly her and Edge. Yep. <laughs> not not her own accomplishments, just her with Edge. <laughs> That's what she's most well known for, Edge. Oh. And having the world shit is moon salt. Yes. <laughs> right, Dewdrop versus Lita. Dewdrop starting with a lovely throw. Oh, and headbutts. A big headbutt. She's not taking any prisoners. Dropping the elbow, starting off strong. The Hall of Famer here. 
really having to put the work in as the young upstart do drop looking to stake her claim in the annals of WWE history now Dewdrop is a tag team champion but how well will she fare on her own without her partner there we're, we're unlikely to see Raquel as well as she is uh, injured <laughs> currently sidelined thanks Mick yeah dropping knees she doesn't look like she needs a partner right now no she is taking it to Lita Oh, just yeeting her across the ring into the ropes. Very one-sided at the moment. Huge headbutt. And another Glasgow kiss. That was a that was a pure Zinedine Zidane headbutt. That <laughs> one. <laughs> bon anniversaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, leader with a kick. Bit of time to uh, pump Show up this crowd. Show the crowd. Pump up the volume. Oh, big DDT. Beautiful. Pops and the leg the can Lita get the pin. Ref's a bit hesitant one. on the uh, three count there. Yeah, so at this point, we should probably point out that this is the same ref who decided to look the other way in Braun Breaker's match. Oh, well, the Iron Man match, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is an oh, Extreme yeah. Rules match. We should probably just clarify, so Lita can twat do a job with a, with a table. There's no oh. problem with that. I don't know. The ref might uh, ring the bell on this one. <laughs> A Canadian destroyer. The giant woman pulling of, out all the uh, all the stops. Yeah, for someone of Dewdrop size, you wouldn't expect that amount of uh, athleticism, athletic involved. ability. Yes, quite impressive. And Dewdrop continues the beating inside the ring. Doesn't need a weapon. And she, she goes again, hands. turning Lita, Lita inside out. Folded like a pretzel. Oh, As we've all wanted back to do now. to Lita at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not projecting. <laughs> Keep your mind on the match. <laughs> Propping up the announce table right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, back in the day when it came to Lita or Trish, I was a Lita man. Nowadays, uh, I'd much rather go with Trish. Have you seen Trish Stratus? I haven't recently. <laughs> Well, we may just have to hire her. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I'll uh, back, park back my... Back to the action in the ring. <laughs> back to the action. I'll park my Jerry Lawler perverse comments for now and appreciate this kick from Lita. Yeah. <laughs> seems to have... Uh, pendulum seems to have swung the other way and Lita seems to be taking charge now. She's stunned. The upstart do drop. Ooh, That's the Hall of Famer. Working on those legs, trying to chop the big girl down to size. And more showboating. <laughs> She's going to the top. World's worst moonsault. Oh. As she just sort of falls off. Do <laughs> <laughs> drop now. Do drop just oh, oh hanging on her the up. ropes. Hanging her up to dry. The ref very hesitant to start these counts. <laughs> it's at this point I'd like to remind everyone here and the wrestlers involved that this is an Extreme Rules match. Weapons are allowed. We've seen We've one seen table it. chop so far. Yep. They didn't even set it up. No. Here we go. Just Onto the really outside. Teased us with a table. This crowd showing their love. <laughs> oh. Dewdrop just looking to break Lita's neck again as she goes for a weapon here, Hose. Gonna see classic. some weapons, and the crowd likes this idea. Lita having none of it, though, and just goes for the basement drop kick. We want tables chance starting to uh, ring out. They did get a table. Maybe they use it. No, Lita, Lita table, not chair. Oh, Ooh. big shot to the head, and another. Lita just... Taking it to her. Yeah. No more than a one count so far. Neither of these women looking to give the other the upper hand. No, this is a rivalry that's been building. Ooh. Lita with a, a history in Team Extreme yeah. with the Hardy Boys back in the day. This is very much one would expect to be her specialty. Hardy's obviously renowned for their 
A stew drop DLCs. fires off a Canadian destroyer for the third time that appears to break the fourth dimension. That just doesn't look possible, that move. <laughs> It's always Big the hits. way. Always right, the way. Dragging you her into the center, away from the ropes. These young upstarts. Lita, lovely Big Lita answers. can run oh, six As she one throws nine. her into the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Lita Mysterio. The Lita okay. one nine. <laughs> Lita, use the chair. There you go. <laughs> Lita just uh, content to wait for Dewdrop. She appeared to have a bit of an aneurysm as she just stood there wondering what the hell she was holding and what the fuck to do next. It's good that she's put it back where it belongs on the shelf. <laughs> yep. Big old Big suplex, suplex there from Dewdrop. As she just appears to throw herself five feet the other direction. She has incredible jump gain on. <laughs> Spring heel jack over here. Yep. yep. Leads as Lita to the top. from the second rope. Oh, big spike. Now working on the arm. Now, it may just be me, but I would like a few more weapons in this Extreme Rules match. <laughs> oh, to the That's outside. Lisa Maybe this is our chance. Herself at Go on, set up the table. No, no one seems interested in the table. Dude, just going for a walk, really. And they're back in the ring. Lita going for the chair. Maybe she's going to have a sit down. She remember where she put it. Yep. Dewdrop having none of it. Oh, and onto the apron. You really have to think at this point that uh, the advantage really is with Dewdrop. Yeah, the longer this goes, the better the younger, the younger athlete will be. Fair, I imagine. That she will. Although Lita's got the, she's got the experience to make a long, long match last. Mm. Lita with the cover now. Could this be the two count? Oh, the first count of two of the match. And she Lita is a bit frustrated herself. there. Not happy at all with the ref slow counting. Taking out her frustrations really on Dewdrop. Yeah. Back sweep. Lita going to the Could top. We see oh, we're going to see it. The world's it. worst salt. Here it is. Oh, she just there falls it is. off. Is this, this, could is be this the it? one. Lita picking up the victory. And the Hall of Famer proves once again why she deserves a spot on the SmackDown roster. And she didn't really need a weapon. She used the chair maybe once, maybe twice, but that was about it. She did hit Dewdrop with a table, but then she was kind of done with it. But it was a yeah. great match. It was a great match. And the rivalry grows, which is the good. The rivalry grows, and it propped up our mid-card nicely. <laughs> We're going to need the rivalry to keep growing, because yeah. uh, Raquel's out for like three weeks, so we're not going to have the tag champs do anything anytime soon. <laughs> this is true. Right, debate right. and Mysterio. We did give Bait a bit of a push, but again, experience is winning this evening yeah. with Booker T picking up his uh, his IC Championship. Lita with the win. That's three wins for the Hall of Famers. And in the main yeah. event, Let's can see. Kane Carter get the win? Nope. Of course she can't, because the wrecking machine, oh dear. Was that an injury alert? Oh dear. <laughs> She's injured for four weeks. <laughs> oh, oh dear, this has gone so badly. Right. Oh, wait. I think we had. Didn't we have a card put against us that meant we might lose a superstar to injury during this as well? Possibly. I feel right. Feel like. Oh, they picked up Braid in the Dark. They picked up Braid in the Dark and have immediately teamed him with Scott Hall. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> it couldn't have timed that any better. Okay, oh. so uh, new tag champions at NXT. Oh. 
Oh, didn't we? Yes, we injured Yokozuna. We did, yeah. Because we successfully put her through a table backstage. Uh, Cindy Fluff is going to Another new pickup for uh... Dylan and Mick. <laughs> Gigi Dylan picks up the win, though. Mediocre. Right. Here she is, the guerrilla warfare expert that is Alba Fire taking her people out. Hopefully, Shayna gets a win people. here. Yes. It'd be good if they got an injury as well. But Shayna is our mole. <sighs> right, MVP, MVP versus, versus Kevin, Owens. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens gets Kevin the win. Owens. In a match that everyone's saying was okay, it was good. And a triple threat match between The Rock, The Miz, and Kofi Kingston. Three former WWE champions here fighting for the NXT Championship. Interesting. And The Rock wins because, of course, he does. Retains his title in a classic. In a classic. And the rivalry is complete between Rock and Miz. I think the highlight of their show was still Braid in the Dark. Braid in <laughs> the Dark. Yeah. match winning the tag <laughs> championship. <laughs> I hope they've got him a more than a five-week contract. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, meanwhile, back with the human thumb on Raw, who shafted us. Trish yeah. and Rhea. Again. See, there's Trish. And Rhea Ripley gets the win. They've got an amazing for a, match. A nice women-heavy card as well. Zoe Bailey. And they throw Trixie Gambit in for a trip. Trixie threat. Gambit. She's been working the indie circuit. And she's, she uh... has been. Would have been amazing if she got the win there. <laughs> It was a mediocre but, uh, match. <laughs> Zoe Stark. Is this the, uh, the eighth time they've put on this match? <laughs> it might possibly be. So let's have a Goldberg look to see what happens. They're undefeated. Butch. <laughs> Father and son tag duo. <laughs> <laughs> they both look oh. so happy to be there. Uh, oh, Jive, Jive Owens, Owens <laughs> in a fatal four-way tables match. Against Jake the Snake, Biggie, and Otis. My, My money's, money's on, on Otis for this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake Roberts gets the win. The Hall of Famers just putting in work. And, Speaking uh, of Hall of Famers. Beyond the Grave, Roddy Piper and Umaga. Yep. Umaga with the Samoan stamina. Injury. Roddy Piper's a... injured. So, <laughs> Umaga devastating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile, with Bischoff, Jimmy Uso and The Undertaker for their world title. In the star opener. Shock. Undertaker. <laughs> I think Uso needs to give it up on that one. Yeah. Ah, the Brothers of Destruction against the Brothers of Oos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uso, Uso holding it down. Molly Holly. Molly Holly. Oh, yeah, she was picked up, wasn't she? Yeah, doing a charity yeah. promo. Nikita Lyons and Dakota Kai. Again, women holding it down in the mid card. Dakota Kai getting the win. Mediocre. Mediocre. Bischoff's had the better promo. cards. They're all normal matches as well. Beth I don't think Phoenix Bischoff's coming out of the woodwork. I know. Maurice. Ooh, and she's injured. Injury. Not only was it disappointing, but Maurice is injured. Did we do that? I don't think <laughs> we did. Rikishi versus the Boogeyman. <laughs> <laughs> Those Samoans. Boogeyman putting in work. That weirdly, yeah. you've got Rikishi and the Usos against the Brothers of Destruction and Boogeyman there. Bischoff That's... might be a sadistic genius. Yeah, I think he's, he's lucked into some good stuff. Okay, so a very, very up and down week for SmackDown. <laughs> Our opener kind of... But I don't think everyone else's week was very good. Their mid-cards were pretty similar. Yes, so... And our, our peaks and troughs were worse. Yeah, our opener main event and our mid-card were pretty pretty outstanding. All things considered, I think our two... Our second and third matches were always going to be a bit crap. We just had to have it propped up with our IC title match, the girls in the Extreme Rules, and then Charlotte Flair in the yeah. submission, now injured. Well, it says we didn't get any injuries, but... We made a lot oh, of fans on that made, one. But we made a loss of 60 grand, but 120,000 fans is massive. Yeah, that's a huge boost. Did we learn any... anything from the fans? 
What did you think Caden Carter was going to win today? I was always in control. Crowd yeah. distracted. Apparently Tyler's angry at the crowd for distracting him. Meh. Batista they might be chanting for him. Rollins. Okay. We've got 250 okay. grand. Yeah. NXT. They gained 128,000 fans and made, and a, made profit. a profit. Ouch. I didn't Raw. think their match was as good as us. Gained even more fans. So, and made, and even made a more profit. profit. Oh, God. Just when we thought we were having a good week. Please tell us we yep. at least beat Bischoff. Holy no, Jesus. Not with that no. fan game. I think we might be last in the standings now. We might be last in the standings. Oh, not yet. Not yet, but it's close. Not yet. <laughs> right. But we're, we're actually really not far off Mick Foley. We're a thousand fans in it. Yeah, we can we can grab this back. We might have lost we've Charlotte, got a, but we've got Batista back. Yeah, and we've got a better budget than Kurt and Mick going into this next week. Yeah, okay. There's so. there's potential. So join us back here next <sighs> time where we'll see how we can recuperate from the injuries, if we need to do a bit of stock-taking, perhaps a bit of we... a hiring... We may need to spend some money on some new talent. <laughs> we might need a couple of mood people on the roster, so uh, yeah. join us back here next time for the first SmackDown after the pay-per-view. Catch you then.